Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I've got three easy and super yummy dip recipes to share with you. These would be perfect for a family game night or movie night or to take to a potluck or a get together or just for any occasion. So let me show you how I made these. I highly recommend you give these recipes a try. First up, I tried a new to me recipe for a Mexi corn dip. My mom saw this on Facebook and sent it to me and it was good. I'll definitely make this again. So let me show you the ingredients that I used for it. First, I've got some Mexi corn. If you're not familiar with this, it's just canned corn with red and green bell peppers in it. So if you can't find this or don't have it, you can just use, of course, regular canned corn, frozen corn, fresh corn, and then just add the bell peppers yourself. Next, I've got a can of Rotel or the Walmart version of it anyway, some mayonnaise, sour cream, cilantro. If you're not a cilantro fan, no worries, just leave it out. Shredded cheese, and then I thought that the Frito scoops would be really good for this dip, so that's what I'm gonna use. You could also use tortilla chips, really any kind of chip or cracker that you prefer. To a mixing bowl, I'm gonna add in my mayonnaise and sour cream and stir that until it's combined really well. And I didn't try it this way, but I'm pretty sure that you could probably use Greek yogurt for the sour cream if you want to lighten this up just a little bit. Once that's combined, I'm going to add in my drained Mexi corn as well as the drained Rotel. Next, I'm going to add in my cheese. I'm using shredded cheddar here, but I think Monterey Jack or Pepper Jack would also be really good. I'm gonna add my chopped cilantro, and then I can't remember off the top of my head if the recipe called for green onions or if I just decided to add them, but I'm gonna add in some chopped green onions. Give that a stir, and once I got it all stirred up, I thought it was a little wet to, uh, for my particular liking, so I ended up adding another can of Mexi corn to it. So I'm gonna stir that until it's really well combined, and then I gave it a taste. It was good, but I felt like it needed a little something extra, so I added in some um, taco season and dry ranch dressing mix. Now, again, that's totally optional. Um, you could just leave the seasonings out altogether. You could add whatever seasonings you like. And like I said, it was just fine without it. So I'm going to stir that again until it's well combined and give it a taste. And this time I thought it was really tasty. So I'm going to cover this and place this into the refrigerator. Really, you could eat this right away. I just wanted to allow it to, you know, kind of all the flavors come together for a little bit. So I just popped it in the fridge for about 30 minutes and served it up with those scoops chips. And this was delicious. Like I said, I'll, I'll absolutely be making this again. Next up, I tried another new recipe for whipped feta dip, and I'll of course have the recipe linked in the description box below. Here's what I used. I've got some minced garlic, crumbled feta cheese, pistachios, some cream cheese that I've brought to room temperature, honey, olive oil, chopped chives, basil, some pepper, and then to serve with the dip, I have some of these little naan bread um, and then uh, just some pita bread. In my little food processor, I'm going to add in the cream cheese, the feta cheese, and the olive oil, and then I'm going to pulse that until it's combined really well. Then I scrape down the food processor and pulse it again for just a couple quick seconds. Then I added in the dried basil as well as the minced garlic and then pulsed it again for, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 seconds, just until it's combined really well. So once that is done, I am going to place it onto a serving dish, or in this case, I'm just using a plate, and you wanna spread it out and leave a well in the middle. And I didn't do such a great job of making a well. I should have, um, like went a little bit deeper in it, you'll see the honey kind of spreads out a little bit. So once I've added the well, I'm going to add the honey in that well. And then on the outside, we're gonna sprinkle some of the pepper, the chopped chives, and the crushed pistachios, and then that's it. This is a super easy and quick dip. It's no cook, really easy to put together. I'm just gonna take some of those little mini naan pieces and put those around. And you can also cut up the pita bread and um, you know serve that along with it. Now, I really, really enjoyed this dip. I wasn't really sure about it with you know the sweet and the savory, but I really liked it. My husband liked it as well. So we'll make this again for sure. 
Last but not least, I'm sharing what I call apple dip. I think some people call this fruit dip or cream cheese dip. It's so, so easy. It's three ingredients. That's it. You'll need some brown sugar, softened cream cheese, and vanilla extract. Let me show you how to put this together. Like I said, it's so, so easy. I'll of course have this recipe in the description box below. And a quick note, I halved the recipe. So to the mixing bowl, I'm going to add in the softened cream cheese, the brown sugar, and the vanilla. And then I'm just going to combine that with a hand mixer. You can also use a stand mixer. Quite honestly, you could just do it uh, with a spoon or spatula by hand. Now the recipe does have measurements in it, but just do this to taste. If you feel like it needs a little more vanilla, add a little more. If you feel like you want a little more brown sugar, add it. Now I felt like this was just a teeny tiny bit thick. So I added probably just a tablespoon of cream. That's totally optional. You do not have to do that. Once everything's combined really well, that is it. Like I said, another really easy, quick dip, and best of all, no cook. So to serve this up, I like to serve it with apples. Like I said, I like to call it apple dip because of that very reason. And I like to do a mixture of red and green apples. It's a really sweet dip, as you can tell, with the cream cheese and brown sugar. So I feel like the green apples especially go really nicely with it. You can also serve it with strawberries, grapes, pineapple, other berries, really any kind of fruit that is hard enough to stand up to the dip this is delicious and so easy it is definitely a crowd pleaser all right that is it for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i hope you have a great rest of the day thanks so much for watching Bye bye